Hey everybody, Christina here with One Creative Direction. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video, but I'm trying to get ready for a couple of different things and just been super busy. But I do have this video and at least one other video planned for later tonight. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I have a ton of stuff that needs uh, top coated because I'm getting ready for a show in, a, in about three weeks. Um, so I've been accumulating lots of finished products, but uh, now I have a large amount of items that need top coated. So I wanted to do a quick video. I know there's a lot of people on my Facebook pages asking about, you know, how to seal this or that. Um, I will, I want to share um, probably the best kept secret, and that is this product here. It's called Bright Tone. Um, a company called Crystalac. I'll put the link to uh, purchase this in uh, the description box. Um, I am an affiliate, so I would appreciate it if you would, in addition to like and subscribing to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would use my link uh, so I can, uh, you know, build a better audience. Um, I don't have a discount code for it. Uh, they do just offer affiliate links. Um, I have agreed to um, promote the product um, for that, so I would appreciate it. I have been using this for quite a while, so if anybody has any questions on how to use it, uh, it is a little bit different process than epoxy. If anybody's using epoxy out there uh, and you don't like the smell, the, the stickiness, the just everything about it, uh, I had a bad reaction and I was somewhat forced to uh, go a different direction and kind of inadvertently found out about this company and they have a this isn't the only great product they have they have other products that are really good because I also make uh, tumblers and other um, art projects as well as pour painting so um, this works on so many different things so I wanted to show you a few things that I've already coated with it um, so you can kind of get an idea and then I want to show you how easy it is and how versatile it is so I don't know it's kind of hard because the lighting may not be the greatest, but you can kind of see it's got a very, very nice gloss. It does come in gloss, matte, and I think satin or semi-gloss. Um, I use gloss uh, because I'm going for that shine. Uh, some people may prefer a matte. Um, I know you can layer them. You can get both and do a layer of matte and a layer of gloss, um, and you can kind of get a different look based, you know, based upon how many different layers you do but uh, I, hopefully you can see that sheen. So this is just a six by six tile um, that I've coated with it. And it has the same properties as epoxy. It hardens, does full cure after 30 days. And uh, it is very, very durable, scratch resistant. It's great for so many different pro products. So I wanted to bring you over here and show you a couple of other different ones. And you'll have to forgive my messy house because like I said, I'm getting ready for this project. So all of these three that I'm going to show you have been coated with at least two to three coats of the, the bright tone. And you can see uh, the light's kind of shining on it in a really good angle. You can see how nice and glossy uh, the appearance is. So there's one item I used it on. I'm, I don't know if you can see it on all of them, but, uh, but yeah, it, it has a nice gloss to it. Uh, very durable, non-yellowing. Um, this black one's probably my favorite. Uh, you, it really shines in the light. I don't know if I'm capturing that or not, but hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy here. So, uh, so yeah, let me cover the camera so I don't make anybody dizzy. Moving it back. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it works great on tile. It works great on, those are all wood surfaces. The, the canvases I just showed you, they're all wood. Um, and I'm getting ready to put it on a canvas. So this is a, a, a deep base canvas. And so I'm gonna seal this painting uh, with it as well. It works really, really well for these as well, uh, as, well as the, uh, the wood surfaces, the ceramic. Um, like I said, I use it on tumblers, so it works great on stainless steel. Uh, I know they have other products that you know are for exterior. I think it's called Crab Coat. Um, so yeah, check out uh, the link in the description box and uh, check out their products and I would appreciate it if you are interested, if you would please use my link um, to purchase. 
greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to apply this to any surface. Um, I do have another video if you wanna check that out that goes into, um, in the beginning I show a tumbler and then later on in the video I show uh, some four by four ceramic tiles and how easy it is. So the big differences between this and epoxy is you have to put a few more uh, layers on it. So epoxy is very thick and you can put it on in various you know thicknesses and it will self-level and you may have one or two coats sand. So the process for, for this bright tone is it goes on very thin. Uh, they say the, the target thickness is the thickness of two pieces of paper. Uh, so it's very thin and if you put it on too thick you'll notice it after about three or four layers depending on how how many you use it'll start to get that ripply orange peel effect um, that means you've put them on too thick so and another big difference is epoxy takes quite a while to cure up for your next coat this is uh, three to four hours uh, so i put it on i usually try to wait five just to make sure because if you do go less than four hours you could get some other appearance issues. Um, I also add in, um, that I just recently started doing, uh, cause I didn't really need to do it for tumblers, but for these larger projects, I got this on Amazon. It is a extender for water-based products. I mean, you can use it for anything, paint, you can use it for stains, all kinds of products, as long as they're water-based and it'll extend the dry time. So it gives you more working time. And as you know, if you work with epoxy, you get about 45 minutes. Uh, before it starts setting up. Um, with this bright tone, you want to lay it on and you want to not work it so much. Uh, you want to not go over the same, kind of like with a, a, a gloss varnish, like li with you using Liquitex gloss varnish, you don't want to keep going over the same area. It's kind of the same, but this, if you add a little bit of this into the bright tone, um, it does give you a little bit more working time. So. Uh, for the bigger projects, it makes it a little nicer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you real quick on this uh, small canvas, how easy it is to use. And just like epoxy, it is uh, self-leveling, but when you're putting on thinner coats, it's kind of, um, kind of NA <laughs> at that point. So I usually just try to keep it in a bottle. It's easier to apply. You can use it out of your, container, but I've found that it's much easier to use out of the bottle. And I just like hold it up to a light source and then just gently take your brush and brush it on. You don't want to push down. Pushing down will create air bubbles. So you want to watch, number one, you want to watch for air bubbles as you're applying it. And number two, you want to make sure that you're evenly coating it. And of course, just like varnish and other products, you know, if it's not even in the end, you can correct it. It's not a lost cause, but a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. As you can see, I barely put any on the surface and I've covered more than half of it with this product. So I barely even hang on to my brush and I just lightly drag it across the surface and make sure there's no lines. So it's nice and clear and so you can see why you want that little bit of extra drying time because if I didn't have that extender in there, this would already be start, start to dry. And that's because you're putting on such thin layers, obviously, and then it dries faster than um, epoxy does. So you wanna keep that in mind as you're applying it. So what I usually do is just continue. And then I have some bed risers that I usually set it on that I can do the sides. So it's all coated at the same time. Um, so you can see how fast, how easy it is to do this. And like I said, it's easy if you hold it up, you can get a, a glare off of your light source. Uh, that way you can see um, any lines, any issues, make sure you have full coverage. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna hold it up here, so hopefully you can kind of see that. There's already some shine on there, and that's just one coat. So, uh, great product. I uh, just wanted to come to you with a real quick video on how to show you how easy it is uh, to apply, to use. 
um, everything and, and what a great nice glossy finish that it provides and the best part about it is you know it's it's water based so you don't have all that sticky resin I can't even I have a huge amount of items that I ruined when I was using resin before I had a reaction to it and I mean this is water based I've, I've dropped some on the floor and picked it right back up um, I don't think I could have done that with resin um, and then it's water cleanup you don't have to you know have alcohol I see a few air bubbles so it's one thing you got to watch for is little tiny air bubble that's why I try to hold it up to a light source and if I see them I usually just take my the corner of my brush and just kind of poke at them until they disappear I only saw a few there but you want to make sure one of the keys is you want to make sure you have a very good quality brush I've seen some people use like a foam brush but I've seen those foam brushes, like the little pieces fall off and I don't want that to happen. So I got this brush at Michael's and it was on clearance, but I think the regular price on it was like 20 bucks, but I think I got it for like three. Uh, but it's a Grumbacher um, and you want a really nice soft bristle. You don't want a roughed bristle because those rough bristles will leave lines. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have a nice soft brush, uh, something that's durable that you can wash quite often because like I said it's water wash up so so yeah um so like I said please like and subscribe my channel I have another video planned for tonight with some uh some hacks uh for poor painting you might want to check that one out as well so check the descri description box for the link to the crystal act website and please uh use my link to order if you're interested and uh, feel free to shoot me an email my email's in there if you have questions about how to use it uh, anything really. I mean, I've, like I said, I've been using it and so I know all the ins and outs and um, troubleshooting and all that stuff. So um, just uh, let me know and uh, thanks and have a blessed good Friday.